bird on a tree. Okay, so we are officially today on with Hodan to Delia's success uh, and we having today such an amazing human being with us Susie Beauty known very well in Kenya with her amazing achievements I don't want to take all the spots here I would like to give a chance Susie to kind of give us a little bit of her story and how she came from where she was to where she is right now and we'll go more details on how affected uh, covid uh, on her situation especially in the industry she's in so welcome suzy thank you thank you so much for being with us here today thanks so, for having me so please go ahead let us a little bit have an insight from you so i i i'd love to it comes from you then from me <laughs> from the horse's mouth right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So um yes I'm Suzy Wakabi and I'm um I'm the founder and brand ambassador of Suzy Beauty which is Kenya's first beauty brand and um my background or sort of my history um born and raised in uh, Nairobi uh, Kenya and um after uh, went to finish my university stud studies in the US in San Diego at USIU I started off here Three years in USIU, Nairobi, and then at that very long time ago, there was a campus in San Diego, and so I went and 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 finished off there, graduated from there, and literally like in like international relations, I, like I've had so many career and visions like through the decades, um, um, but I didn't know what I wanted to do after graduating. because what i was thinking international relations i have no idea what it is and it sounds cool and <laughs> i'm really good with languages maybe i can then like go work at the un or something as a translator like mix it in with the language i i, do, I do, you know like i had no idea so i handed to my parents the degree that i've received that they made me get and then i just like started dabbling in into corporate america because you know how, like you know how to work and how to how to be a mature adult <laughs> at the right age of yeah. you know, 22 or whatever it was uh, and so I, i i did i did a few like entry level jobs and then um um i moved over from from california to new york to go and work in um fashion and beauty So I've always been that girl. I've always been interested in beauty and fashion. And then I found out that fashion is very many things. It's it's apparel, it's mm -hmm. accessories, it's eyewear, it's um it's cosmetics. So I did double in each one uh, of them to see what I actually want to do or like. Um so I did that and and um fortunately I could not everyone can so I, i i you know i love my parents for letting me do that <laughs> because i gave them their degree <laughs> so absolutely <laughs> um, so my first job in 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 beauty was a clinic um in 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 new jersey and i i was working in retail and they you know they trained me from scratch whatever like which were like you know always like like love them for that and then i went to work for mac after that and then thereafter i realized like i really do like working in retail um and i went to work in corporate so i worked and for whatever reason in eyewear eyewear has been a big part of my life so i worked for a few different eyewear companies um and and learned about you know uh, and and I got into from i mean from being being like an office manager um being graduated into being in the product development department and they trained me from scratch as well so like i've had a lot of like really like wow nice people around me through the decades ah yeah so and then um my dad also agreed to send me to 
do a media makeup course because now when I'm working in corporate, I, I'm still doing makeup on the side. So I did, you know, a lot of um, um, working with models and photographers and honing my skills and building my portfolio. So, um, and then he sent me, he agreed to send me to a media makeup school and media makeup is, is always what I've been most interested in because it's, I like the simplicity of it. And then, yeah, I don't know. I like media. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> so when I finally came back home in 2007, um, I was coming to work in the media makeup industry and I actually took a, 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 a trip before I moved to meet like, you know, the, the magazine editors and like the, you know, nation media people, like stand, like all the people, all the people in media mm -hmm. and be like, hi, look, here's my portfolio. And I want to work uh, in a few months when I come back home from America. And they were like, call us when you're back. Good. And so, yeah, it was because of that, it, it made it easier to hit the ground running when I got in. Mm -hmm. And then, at that point, fortunately for me, it was a very infantile industry. Like there was literally three or four um, professional makeup artists. Oh, wow. Who could call themselves professional makeup artists who all shared all the jobs with each other. So I joined that crew and got to, uh, you know, uh, they appreciated me. I appreciated them. Like I was learning how to work in Nairobi in uh, media makeup. So it was, it was a good time. That was, it was a really like, very innocent, very <laughs> nice time as opposed to now. Now it's very different. Like I would, I would be swallowed up in, like in this industry now. Like, Oh my gosh, I pity. Uh, I, like I, I hug, I hug tight all the makeup artists in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> so um and yeah so managed to do a lot of good jobs and 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 got a lot of good gigs um and i was you know working in all the it, it was a lot of media but even like doing weddings doing runway doing all the things um making a name for myself kind of and then so how um, did you how did you know that is for you like, so suzy beauty the the brand yes the brand or, yes or, 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 I mean, or, like you're getting into the whole, the industry of, you know, how, what made you like, that's, I like that from thing. the first second, I touched the first brush. I'm like, this is life in itself. So I just love it. I like, and that's where, like, it's just passion. It's just I like so much love for beauty and, and cosmetics. I love product. Um, I can like literally until now, I'm going to be 44 years old at the end of this year. Wow, I can sit younger. <laughs> <laughs> I can sit around playing with eyeshadows all day. Like I, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's interesting. <laughs> so it's a complete love, just like love, love, love. So, um, so where Suzy Beauty was born is because I'd come home with a big suitcase full of product to work. And then, uh, you know, like a year into it, I'm like run out of this foundation or that eyeshadow, or that lipstick. Where do I replenish? Like, where do I go to buy makeup? I hadn't lived at home for 10 years. And then they're like, yeah, I'll go to that beauty shop, go to that pharmacy, like, you know, whatever. And I'm like going to those places and I'm like, this is what you have to provide. Like one, really weird brands. Two, nothing that works three way overpriced so after pretending to try to deal with that for a while i'm like i woke up one morning in january of 2009 and i told my husband you know what i'm creating my own product i can't be the only one suffering one for my professional use and two for my personal use absolutely this is a beauty <laughs> Wow, that is so inspirational. So how did you know that become the Susie Beauty that we know today? I, I, I'm also still like, you know, I'm, I'm still in the process. Like the journey is still on. So people like you or anyone else who looks to me, I so appreciate it. So, um, but yeah, no, I was, I mean, gung-ho. Like I know for sure we need product. 
um, I can't work without product, and then I can't live without product. So um, creating the product was actually the funnest part for me because at where I've worked with so many different brands and lines and and seen, you know, there's this like extremely expensive, like fancy brand in America, like whatever. And I'm like, okay, so no, that, no, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> nope. But work, I actually like don't want it. I would rather spend the ten dollars in you know in the drugstore than the hundred dollars that you're making me spend. In the... uh, so I I did a lot of um, analyzing brands and seeing and and understanding what works and what doesn't work. And so that and then also inside of my product development background, that was very helpful. But creating the product itself i of course i had to i'm not a chemist so i had to find the chemist to sit with me and and mix and match and it was literally like oh my gosh like this green eyeshadow like i love it but it just needs to be a little bit darker like just but also this little bit darker like not a lot darker so just like tweaking and playing with the stuff was that was so amazing I then found out quite early um, inside of building the brand was um, nobody manufactures makeup here. So I had to go look for manufacturers. So I'm like, here, see, see this, what I've created? I need many of them. Like, oh, can wow. you make them? Yes. And, and so I, I mean, I also came across like I'm many, like we had to travel. My husband fortunately was able to, to do the initial financing for for to enable us to like go around looking for the right manufacturer um i mean there and there was a bunch of them who were like oh no no look, look our showroom is full of product just put your logo on it and then that's it i'm like no 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 this thing that i've made this is only what i want i want many of them and so i was very particular and but i think i think clarity even inside of brand building, inside of the product development, like I've always, I, like I was, I was completely like focused and no one could sway me. So even just like creating the logo, creating the name, all that. Um, and then, you know, two years into it, we knew, we need, I, I knew I needed a bunch of money in order to get this product here. And I had to talk to a lot of investor possibilities and uh, and a bunch of them are like oh no change the logo oh, no, change this product like and i would not budge i'm like nope nope so next 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 pitch <laughs> like no so you obviously don't get it so yeah. it's okay it's okay so uh, the clarity was there and has been there and is there still oh wow wow well yeah. That is amazing, to be honest. Like that journey for yours is, I'm, I'm sure so many would be resonating, myself as well. It's like so much like, uh, this is exactly what I always talk about. The vision, the clarity is one of the key of any Absolutely, because you can't, you, you can't be a brand or start a brand without complete conviction. <laughs> yes. Right. Or, or you will like you know keep like flailing about and changing it around and according to the, what this person said because they said it. No, it's not them. It's you. So absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And and also you have taken that niche kind of approach, which is really like can you elaborate on that? Like you know focusing on that specific uh, niche. Say again, you're, you're you're breaking niche. up a little bit niche 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 like being focused on a specific uh type of group that you know you know exactly would need this yes and, and, okay. and yeah and and how that really worked out for you in in, in yeah. your business yeah, yeah. Oh, so so i think for me i mean i i definitely struck while the iron was hot because one yes nobody was creating makeup locally and because of that then i focused on the kenyan woman and the african woman because nobody is doing it 
so that was that was a, like I it was the right time, and um, I was I'm not gonna say I was lucky, um, but I I I do take um, I do take uh, uh, the the appreciation that it was the right time. Like I could have been ten years before, and it would not have worked. It could be ten years after; it would not have worked. So yeah, so whatever, whatever God was shining down on me, and, and <laughs> <laughs> like God bless them. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited of seeing like also you've been awarded and like so much happened with your uh, that little baby to becoming now a grown up. <laughs> Oh, I know. So it it um, it was. So I have two different um, versions. So like I started the company in two thousand nine, but we actually launched in twenty twenty eleven. Um, but then so, but in twenty nineteen, it was ten years since this baby was created. Um, so so that even people like people shut down in the first year, like you know. So yeah, so I I appreciate I appreciate the the focus that I've had, and I and I'm um, I don't know anything else, so I don't have a choice. Wow! <laughs> but yes, making this work. Wow. And so I've gone oh, through a amazing. lot of I, I've gone through a lot of different, you know, even like partnerships and whatever through the year, through the years. Sorry. Um, even now I'm going through a, a bit of a transition. So it's, and it, it like, but the story remains the same. The focus remains the same. The vision, the mission, the uh, uh, love, the passion, it's all been the, like, it's never got, it's never faltered. I love the fact that you actually said, uh, we are going transition right now. So it brings us to the topic of Okay, so we all have this shift happening to everyone. Uh, some has been laid everyone off from jobs. In the world. The whole world. I am. Um, yeah. <laughs> yes. Right? We're um, all shook. We are all shook. <laughs> absolutely. Like, I mean, yeah. to be honest, it's like it's, it was a shock for everyone. And I mean, so there are of course more some businesses suffered more than the others uh sure. some has been gotten like uh, laid off and you know now starting to think of okay let me do my thing you know and then you yeah. have those businesses that has been operating 100 percent on offline and now they're like oh my god how am i going to start my business online but then when i look at your like your transition is like amazing like it's fascinating day. so i would love to you know hear from your aspect so how covid has shocked you <laughs> and what did you yeah. do to kind yeah. of as an entrepreneur make the shift and adjust it into the situation that we are all experiencing right now and what worked for you maybe i asked too many questions so <laughs> so okay so um i'll start answering that for you with um reiterating that okay suzy beauty is my firstborn so so imagine like you have a firstborn child that you're just like you know bringing up whatever like they've gone to primary school to high school to college like and you you don't have a like you're she's there like she's not she's not going anywhere but i have so much more to do um and funny enough um at the end of 2018 I created, um, somebody created for me a suziwakabi.com website, which was for me, I don't know, like I, I don't know if I'm a, a prophet, but I was like trying to like not separate Suzy Beauty and Suzy Wakabi, but kind of separate Suzy Wakabi and Suzy Beauty. Like I needed to have the difference because for me, um, there's so much, so much to do. And inside of Africa, um, I do say that, uh, yes, my, uh, my, my thing is for sure to like be an instrumental part of growing the African beauty industry. 
but then also like whatever like it could be other things that i want to play with so being like stuck under just like the Suzy beauty story is it's it's not enough i'm i i'm i'm i i think i'm i think i think i'm 23 i don't know like i think i'm young enough to be able to do so much more and for me it's 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 uh, like africa is my priority so suzy wakabi is there is uh, created and then under suzy wakabi comes suzy beauty comes like whatever else is coming out and there's a few uh, there's, i mean not uh, not a few a bunch of projects that i have like i literally like listed them the other day because you know where am i going and like, what am i doing so let me <laughs> let me get creative again and like have some fun with it all the people that have been talking to through the years that I've just like not really focused on or done anything with I'm like oh my gosh like there's so much to do and I'm yeah so this is the time so there's a lot there's a lot to do um covid wise for Suzy Beauty the brand um has not been fun we had to, we we did close the shops for the in the beginning um March until April and then we reopen I mean nobody wants to be touched in the face nobody wants to be like looked at like you know they'd walk past the shops running like you know scared even everyone's only going to the supermarket like to buy milk so we also had to deal with that and we've been dealing with it um so but the shops are reopened and we we're, we're going to see how to make to be clever about this I'm going to for sure do a, a a way more a functional online presence because yeah that's a way that you know people can replenish their product we can you know market better change some stuff around whatever so it's it's about a lot of flexibility and 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 still making the brand exist and grow no that's amazing that's amazing uh so what have worked for you since you know after the post covid i mean we are still in it but <laughs> what have been working for you that you know so me me personally, me personally or Susie beauty well you personally and Susie beauty <laughs> <laughs> so yeah exactly they're all intertwined um so what has worked for me is that i've been able to think a lot more quietly with a lot less noise um i like i have two boys who are 10 and 7 and i've been able to spend a lot more time with them which is interesting <laughs> i've been homeschooling um i've been i've been i've been cooking a lot like i've been learning how to make pies and like that like so all like sort of like personal stuff that i i've so i i'm going to say like i i put on the on the wayside through the through the decade and um yeah learning myself again and like that type of thing so that's been also good good for me and good for the brand because i can think in a in a different way you know what i mean so just even re re redesigning how how suzy beauty point 2.0 point i mean 2.0 should be because it was going to be that because we're all going through this and so if you if 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 i can't if I, if i'm not able to to move with the times like i'm going to like fall asleep under my bed and then <laughs> I don't know I'm in the afterlife I don't know <laughs> so that rolling with the punches and I've always said that like through the years because there've been many punches um and so yeah this is just one of the many punches wow so being 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 smart about how to get to the next level still like I I keep I keep talking about the beauty getting to the nth level the next level the, So no that's never going to stop <laughs> obviously I'm a dog with a bone like I'm uh, <laughs> like I don't give up <laughs> like poor people around me who want me to give up <laughs> 
No, this is amazing, amazing, amazing. So before we go, I would like you to kind of, um, what advice would you have for, you know, people that has been hit by the COVID and, you know, maybe still are that shock state and uh, don't know what to do with the business and um, perhaps they might actually already a little bit figuring out and saying, okay, maybe things are going to reopen and maybe like I'm looking at how to uh, come back and, you know, so what advice would you perhaps have for such people that are right now uh, having such a journey going on right now? Yeah. So it would be for sure. Just like, I mean, please like find a, a brave part of you to not one for sure. Just like just try not to give up. And then even if some parts of the business have faltered and like fallen and whatever, how, how can you work without them? How can you rebuild them? Um, everyone's everyone's uh, um sort of vouching for everyone else because we're all going through this together so look at the resources around you um banks are being so kind like you know like uh, you know everyone uh, like uh, um uh, distributors are being so kind manufacturers like everyone is being schools so think on that and like take advantage of everyone trying to work for it with each other for each other so uh don't just just don't give up don't give up okay and then if you need to restructure things it's okay it's okay and in another time and space maybe like if i shut down i don't know whichever shop it would be like oh my gosh like look at what has happened to Suzy Beauty. they're dying they said they've shut down the shop Not, like no and also be brave about it and and i i'm like we shut down two rivers before covid because it wasn't working out and it's okay and own it and and uh, be able to to um message it right to whoever's you know looking to you so yeah a, a lot of brevity is needed and, and, that's and don't, give up. don't give up don't give up don't give up, don't give up. We are appreciating as a community. Thank you so much for giving us the time and coming here and actually sharing your insight, sharing your, you know, how you overcame everything. And your story is so inspirational, to be honest. I'm so appreciating having you here. No problem. And, and thank, thank you also, because when, when people like you um, talk to us who are inspirational, and I did this. Um, it it also remind like when you're I'm talk, you're asking me a question, and I'm answering it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that bit. Because, but you made me think about it also for myself. So I also appreciate you. No, thank you so much. And yeah, I know your time is so valuable. And I told you we have a you know certain amount of time. So I appreciate for the time. So I'm gonna let you go. And uh, thank you so much. I'm just sitting here